Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. And I'll start off by saying, holy guacamole, I'll be smashing my avocados. Dear Lord, look at this. Downward moving to QuantumScape today. 12% down, down to 35 bucks. Market capitalization, as you guys know on the channel, always more important than the stock price because the stock price is easily manipulated. The market capitalization for this company is $13.6 billion, coming down $3 billion from, I think it was sixteen dollars just yesterday. And why is this happening? I will tell you as we hop right into the video. Before we get in, I will tell you to please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And let me know in the comments if you want to see any other stocks or any other videos or topics. And if you do not already have an account with Webull or Robinhood, you can sign up using my link in the description to get some free stocks and get some free money. Um, but without further ado, let's get into why QuantumScape had such a fall off today. If we look here in the past month, it's been trending downwards, but today was a substantial drop below any other former resistance. And this happened because there was a short report put out by Scorpion Capital. Um, if you wanted to do some research into Scorpion Capital to look and see if they are a reputable source, and if you wanted to believe them, uh, by all means, please do. But I will be getting into the report and not really what Scorpion Capital is and who they are. But without further ado, let's get right to the article. So this is just on the street.com. This is... Uh, Jim Cramer's website, I know he runs the street. He didn't write this himself, but this was written by one of his employees and his colleagues. Uh, this, this article has been on a bunch of different news stations and uh, different news articles online, and all of them have had the same thing. It's a very, very short, short report, and there's not much to go off of, so I will tell you what the negatives are here. Um, Right here, you can get a, a brief blip into what happened. They say the stock tumbled 12% down to 35.85, and the title of the article was named QuantumScape, a pump and dump SPAC scam by Silicon Valley celebrities that makes Theranos look like amateurs, which was a fraud healthcare company that went public in 2018 and has since um, been delisted. Um, but to get into the article, they said, we conducted 15 in-depth research interviews, including nine research and development employees, four leading solid state battery experts, and two employees in Volkswagen's EV battery effort. And the report said, um, our research leads us to conclude that the company is no different than any other recently exposed SPAC promotions and EV frauds. So the one thing that I wanted to point out here is <laughs> Volkswagen just invested another $100 million into this company. I don't think that two of their employees working on the battery effort um, that are high up wouldn't have anything to say um, and say, oh, maybe don't invest this $100 million into the company that has no technology or no advantage over any other company. Um, I just don't really believe that. It doesn't doesn't make any sense to me, considering the fact that they just invested another $100 million, not two weeks ago. So these two employees don't really mean anything to me. Um, four leading solid seat battery experts also don't mean anything to me, um, because they are obviously not within the company, and they have nothing to do with QuantumScape, so I have no idea how they'd be able to, to tell their progress uh, and know if it's real or not. Um, the only ones that we can really have some some sort of value in is the nine former R&D employees. But again, this one can kind of be um, disputed because they're former employees. Why are they former employees? Most likely, they got laid off. Um, or they chose to leave the company because they did not believe in it. So either way, they don't believe in the company and have negative sentiments around the company. So... I think all 15 of these interviews, which is not very many people, nonetheless, is very, very biased. Now, to get further into this bias, we will read the report further. It says, Scorpion's report said that Volkswagen employees indicate that engineers and battery experts are internally and highly skeptical um, of QuantumScape's solid-state battery and their slides. Um, QuantumScape stands by its data, which speaks for itself, was 
the company's statement, and we have provided a higher transparency than any other solid state battery effort, which is true. We've, we've done it. We've looked into the, the research and the graph and the available data from other solid state battery companies, and they are by far the, the furthest along and the most advanced and transparent, like they said. Um, if we keep going, QuantumScape added that this fo uh, follows a typical pattern, short a sack, follow up with a negative report or short report, and then make money on your position, and then quickly look to cover your position. So covering your short just means buying shares of the stock instead of shorting it, um, which is very, very true. This is 100% typical short behavior. Shorts like to short a stock when it gets very, very high with a little resistance or little support to hold it that high, um, they will start and enter into a short position. They'll follow this up with a short report or a bear report, getting people scared and negative sentiment around the stock. And then once it falls a great amount, they'll close their short position and then just cover like an asshole. Um, shorts are usually pretty bad people. Um, not bad people, but um, people looking to make money off of other people's failures. So Anytime that a short is making money, they're um, on the flip turn, people are losing money from them. So people who are long the stock are losing lots of money while they're gaining it. Um, so they are typically people who like to go against the grain um, and make money off of other people's failures, which just in general, I don't really get behind. But I do very, very, very um, feel grateful for shorts because they allow us to get these great position in great companies. This company, QuantumScape, would have never hit a $13 billion market cap if this short report didn't come out. It would never have fallen below there. Um, but because some, um, some capital group came out with an article suggesting that their technology may be fabricated, um, is just allowed to be put out there and they can say whatever they want because of freedom of speech. But this could be completely wrong. Um, it goes on to say at the end of the article, George Soros, who is a very, very famous investor and who was early into Tesla, another EV play, revealed in um, February that they started a position in the company after their breakthrough technology, which was their ability to take one cell of a solid state battery and merge it with two with little efficiency loss. Uh, we went over this in a previous video, so if you want to take a look at that, I think it's called QuantumScape Stock Analysis. Um, but... Uh, just everything about this report, one, it's very, very short, and it's mostly all based off of the 15 interviews that were conducted um, by people who have quite a big bias, in my opinion, and there wasn't really much else um, based off of it. They're just kind of saying that, hey, we don't believe that you have this technology, and QuantumScape's going, hey, yeah, we do, <laughs> and Volkswagen's going, yeah, I think they do too, because they just invested another $100 million. Um, so what are my thoughts on the stock price? Is it a buy, hold, or sell? I think this is buy more. I saw nothing in this article that led me to be skeptical about my investment and that, oh my God, this, this might go to zero. This might be a, a fraudulent company or this legitimately might get delisted in the next couple years or next coming months. Um, I, I had ne no negative sentiment after reading this short report, which is pretty uncommon. I've read a good amount of short reports on stocks that I've been invested in. And I mean, some of them do make you feel some type of way. Some of them do bring up good points. But what you always have to think if they do is does it outweigh the positives that you've already thought of? Um, and most of the cases, shorts are just looking to make a quick buck. Um, that's another reason that I don't typically like them. They're normally short term minded, which is the last thing that you want to do in the stock market. Um, the way to beat people in the stock market and beat the suits and beat Wall Street is to think way past their uh, timeline. So typically Wall Street's thinking about three to six months in advance at the most a year. If you're really trying to beat um, Wall Street or normal averages on return, you really have to look multi-year looks out. So two, three, maybe even five years out. Um, and if we are looking five years out, I think this company will be a, a steal at $13 billion. So that was my thoughts on the QuantumScape short report. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and leave a like. And tell me what you liked about it in the comments section. Come again. Have a good one.